नमस्ते टुडे आई विल स्पीक ऑन गवर्नेंस ऑफ हायर एजुकेशन इंस्टीट्यूशन वी आल नो एन ई पी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टॉक्स अबाउट होलिस्टिक डेवलपमेंट ऑफ एजुकेशनल इंस्टीट्यूशन हाउ होलिस्टिक डेवलपमेंट ऑफ एजुकेशनल इंस्टीट्यूशन विल हैपन इट डिपेंड्स अपॉन द क्वालिटी ऑफ टीचर्स द क्वालिटी ऑफ इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर द क्वालिटी ऑफ लीडर्स the quality of uh, academic as well as administrative leadership and the environment the quality of textbooks which are available the quality of projects we are talking about and at the same time how we are looking at education education actually it's so simple it is a human making process how to make a man a perfect human being how a educated person should work with the development of uh, the nation how the development of a nation is connected with education how education and its peripherals like textbooks teachers classroom deliberations the quality of students the quality of library the quality of ict which are available the quality of uh, sports infrastructure yoga culture music cart the science the laboratories how they are connected with the development yes they are connected to the development because development is not only money development is not only construction of building construction of roads construction of dams are making something that we are very rich we are affluent we are good development of a nation is development of human being development of human being depends upon the development of education the quality of education the quality of teachers the quality of textbooks which they are speaking about whether our textbooks are speaking about 60% of our population which are who are living even today in villages the water bodies the lakes the pokers the trees the agriculture activities the quality of farmers their health their food habits are all related to the development of the nation the nation itself is identified with the, the people identified with the students identified with the healthy women folk how a state how a nation is caring old age people how a nation is caring about transgenders the old age people how are being treated by a nation how transgenders are playing an important role in the development of a nation the leadership academic leadership as well as administrative leadership has to talk about the untouched domains of the educational system education is not making money education is not making only technology education is not making only furnitures our buildings education is making our education is distribution of food equal food system to everybody distribution of education to everybody distribution of health care to everybody who is uncared untouched has to come into the fold of education it's only possible from a great academic leadership how we can build an educational institution it's very easy we can build educational institution with the help of our own heart then only head then only the knowledge then only it will come the rules of principles of administration as gandhi ji once said a leader should be supported by his own heart supported by the ethos of his own society 
the values of his own country how the indian values indian ethos are always kindful towards the have nots how it is possible it is only possible these things should be laudable in our textbooks our textbook should be in our mother tongue i am in the opinion firm opinion of that pre primary education to university education should be in our own mother tongue should be in our own national language and then only we will make wonders in education as well as in research because the technology the science doesn't have any language the we linguist people we the language folk language people will make science will make mathematics will make chemistry will make physics in our own language then we can make it uh, translated into world class other world class languages because the original thinking the original thought process will be in our mother tongue only so we need to focus on mother tongue education we need to focus on mother tongue classroom debate we need to focus on mother tongue research in our own mother tongue the world class research institutions they are making research in their own mother tongue for example china so then we should come down come from our own silos we should come up from our silos that we should make because english yes we need english but english is not everything english is not mathematics english is not science english is not music english is not yoga yoga is yoga to learn yoga we need not to know any language we know we should know we should be able to know the yoga to prepare a food indian culinary art is not english or is not any language it is an art it is a skill it is carpentry it is yoga it is music it is tabla we need to learn that skill the training of our own students the training of our colleagues has to take very seriously about mother tongue education mother tongue training mother tongue research and mother tongue conversations in classroom and debates in uh, in public debates also because through mother tongue we can make wonders our our students of our nation we are all struggling to learn english we are struggling with uh, a foreign language we are struggling with a language where its uh, roots are not uh, enrooted in our culture then our culture is enrooted in our mother tongue so we should understand thanks to nep 2020 thanks to our honorable prime minister uh, they are talking about mother tongue education our now our indian scientists now they are focusing on research in mother tongue education so mother tongue education classroom debates and um, a, a leader who is talking about uh, education development nation development institu- institutional development that conversation must be in mother tongue only then only our stakeholders will come to know the cent percent jeel they will come to know the essence of our conversation the essence what i would like to um, convey a message to my colleagues it's only possible in mother tongue it's only possible in our own language a leader should understand the legacy of our indian languages a academic leader should know the legacy of our heritage of our uh, indianism bharatiyata how bharat is great how bharat was rich how bharat is scientific how bharat is hard working how the women folk is hard working the revolutions the white revolutions the white flood revolutions the green revolutions or 
production revolutions it's only they are all possible only because of women folk it is only possible because of the people from the uh, rural background the people from tribal background the people from slum background the people from a uh, hard zone areas or hard working people how tribal students are very good in sports why they are very good in sports it's need not to be researched because it's it's open because they have been trained by the mother nature to be hard they have been trained by the uh, habitat by their own jungle that uh, they have to be strong to live now education now the nation should utilize the uh, you know dna of tribes to make a uh, sports university in the country dedicated sports university in the country so that we should be able to give a message to the world one can make their future even in sports even in wrestling even in running even in high jump even in long jump even in tabla even in harmonium even in yoga even in indian culinary art even in singing one can make wonders yes we need to know technology we need to know medicine we need to know nanotechnology before that we need to know indian music we need to know tribal medicinal system we need to know the knowledge system of our own mothers and sisters and nanimas and dadimas educational institutions and their leaders have to understand bharat have to understand our nation through its roots how rain water system has been a technology in our own country a person who is a farmer who is a very small uh, land holdings but he knows rain water harvestment and how they know how to preserve the forest preserve the food preserve the well preserve the uh, natural resources these things should come into educational system should enter into textbook should be part of our classroom del- deliberations to make our uh, education to make our classroom uh, deliberations uh, vital make very vibrant it's only possible if we teachers should be are ready to learn more skills more education more subjects and more dimensions of education because language is most important indian languages are most important languages but at the same time we should be able to make a bridge between indian languages how translation plays a important role um, to make a bridge between these languages and i would like to assure you all even the great administrators of uh, uh, the best institutions of the uh, nation that industry is going to uh, grow a big industry bigger than any industry now so how we are ready to make uh, the students how, how we are ready to make our uh, human resource to take up this uh, job opportunities we have to think about even think about the world economic forum which is talking about uh, new skills of the world within 10 years how new skills are coming after 20 years how new skills are coming and uh, jobs are vanishing by end of another 20 years uh, world economic forum according to its survey says that 9 crore jobs are vanishing in in their place machines will be available to serve the women kind now our education our education leaders should think how we can make a future out of this crisis crisis always create futures crisis always create opportunities we educators we leaders have to be ready to train ourselves at the same time we have to be ready to train our own teachers to train our teachers in modern technology to train our teachers in modern skills 
to train our teachers in new domains in new domains where opportunities are uh, you know uh, endless opportunities are seamless it's only possible if the vision of a academic leaders are very clear if he is visionary if he can see the future how it is changing how technology is going to change how textbooks are going to change how the psychology of parents how the society is going to be changed how the psychology of uh, the society is going to change how what are the necessities what are the demands of our industries and how their demands will be changing within 5 years how they are going to change in 10 years and how the uh, academia how the, our textbook how our research are preparing themselves it is the lookout of a academic administrator academic administrators we should be always ready to learn we should be ready to learn the success stories the success stories of our neighborhood the success stories of our habitat or uh, examples should not be given from foreign countries examples should not be taken from american countries we should be able to produce success stories out of our neighborhood out of our villages how a villager has made wonders by growing tomato by growing mangoes alfonso how lime grower made pickle industry these small interventions of the society will have a great impact on the students as well as teachers so we teachers we administrators should be able to always vigilant towards our habitat skills and neighborhood success stories so we need to train ourselves in our mother tongue we need to train our mindset to be always ready to learn ready to open ready to accept the hardcore truths of the future the needs of the industry the needs of the society how society is going to change how internet is making business only through internet you know transport companies how they are making business only with the help of internet how other companies business companies are making uh, shelter to people without having a hotel without having a home without having a space how business avenues have been abundantly uh, made available it's only possible if we are able to make the internet as part of our business as part of our education as part of our administration we need to know the importance of wifi we need to know the strength of our own students the strength of our seamless strengths of our own teachers and the the parents who are who are now talking about only engineering education only talking about only medical education we need to train them we need to convince them music is also equally important uh, than medicine or uh, engineering and sports also equally important because sports make us keep us fit as well as our heart and head and we now the government of india now the world is going to make a future even in sports it's it's only possible if administrators are always able to research on the neighborhood skills and neighborhood whereabouts and at the same time we have to keep an eye on the changing moods of our institutions changing moods of our own teachers changing moods of our own textbooks changing moods of our society changing moods of our catering industries service industries changing moods of our uh, computers changing moods of our laptops and mobiles and at the same time changing moods of our birds of our campus changing moods of our uh, flowers changing moods of our green leaves if an administrator an academic administrator is vigilant ready to learn and ready to 
be practical more practical ready to think the future and he or she will be very much successful because through the opportunistic view through a vision that going to make wonders in the future it's it's possible to make today only create to create today only tomorrow's opportunities it is only possible through a visionary leader my friends we all know we all know world is changing time is changing the rainy seasons are changing the sunlight the moonlight the trees the flowering the the fruitery are changing food habits are changing living habits are changing but we need to be strong with the indian ethos of our own society we need to understand the concept of rama the concept of dharma raj the concept of yoga that do well and you will get the well do good things you will get good things do always follow always the best things don't follow cross roads don't go for making money very fastly if i do as a academic leader if i follow these things my teachers will follow my deans will follow my head of the departments will follow my young teachers will follow and students also will follow my dear friends we must understand my words will not be trusted by the society my words will not be my preaching will not be trusted by my core trusted by my colleagues will not be trusted by my students my activities my doing will be seen and followed by my friends and my society and as well as my even my own children so the great poet kabir das said kathini and karni must be one the words and the doing must be one my friends let us believe the philosophy of india let us believe the great sayings by the great saint vivekananda that education is to make the poorer happy education is to give food shelter to the people who doesn't have it's only possible if we are able to give a quality education to our young generation then they will be able to give the best education to their futuristic students and to their children so let us with the help of uh, nep 2020 with the help of a national curriculum framework with the help of our own ethos our own myths and war a charity of our nation as gandhi ji once said knowledge and hand should go together then only we can make wonders in india then only we we will be able to make india a great futuristic india my friends education should be able to make the student to do something he or she who got educated in our institution should be ready to make with their hands one or the other thing because preaching is not only education preaching is a small part of education doing is also a big domain of education so kathini and karni should go together at the same time knowledge and hands should work together this is the essence of our education thank you very much jai hind jai bharat